Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Splatty Tune. I'm Soul Set Lava, and this is where I play online Splatoon and turf and rank battle matches just to see how well I can do and also to have fun. Let's get to it. All right, and our first match is going to be at Camp Triggerfish, and of course we're doing turf war first. We're going to do two matches of turf war and two matches of ranked battle. And now I actually have a splatter scope. But um, you know, previously I was actually using a. Uh, the Splatter Shot Junior, and usually my weapon of choice is actually the. Uh... Ooh. Oh, Nelly, it's usually a Kelp Splatter Scope. Oh, <laughs> you got me. So I'm not actually used to the sub weapons on uh, this particular item. Oh, they're doing a little bit of dancing there. Well, we'll see how that turns out. Unfortunately, I still don't have my gear, um... ...leveled up quite yet. But, uh... That doesn't necessarily mean I'm... ...down and out for these matches. What happened to them? They got, uh, that one kill in on me, but then they seem to have disappeared. Woohoohoo, Nelly! Oh no. Yeah, that guy was like, oh, <laughs> he swam in. Oh no! Yeah, he was able to squirm his way around. And that guy is very, uh, cheeky right there, doing some, uh, sea bagging, as the term goes. But I'm just trying to get used to this new weapon. Or, I guess it's kind of new. I mean, I'm used to the, uh, splatter scope. But uh, more in a very particular, um, equipment and loadout context than this. So, we'll see if we can't, uh, push our way back. Right now, they've really got a strong hold over most of the map, so hopefully we can make a comeback. Oh yeah, the splatter scope actually has pretty good range, come to think of it. Might be able to cover this side just with the splatter scope alone. Since they don't seem to be focusing on it so much. Not as good as the E-leaders, of course, but uh, pretty well enough. Gotcha! Woohoo! Well, yeah, it looks like we made a comeback at the last moment! So, that's pretty good, put those cheeky sots in their place. 53.9 to 35.5, and let's see how things turned out in the results. Well, I didn't do so great and I got splatted quite a bit, but looks like Miffy was able to make up for some of the shortcomings of the team. Let's see how things turn out in the next match. Alright, and here we are in match two at Arowana Mall. Turf War again. And I'm still using the splatter scope, not the kelp splatter scope that I usually use. And I'm getting used to these uh, splat bombs. Just trying to cover as much of this area as I can. I'm not gonna try and uh, undo the work that's being done right there by the sprinkler. So I'm gonna be conscientious of my teammates. Oh, what the? <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Jeez. Very particular placing there, guy. Oh well. Try to move back in. Oh, no, thank you. Gonna try and chase down that guy. 
And it is, uh... Whoa! I got him, but he also got me. Fish sticks, huh? Well... That's one, uh, spot down. Let's, uh, keep going. Now, usually on this map... Oh, gosh. We got a infiltrator up here. Alright. That's teamwork right there. Defeat the intruder! Okay, well they took over this area pretty handily. That's good. Oh! Where did that come from behind? Oh, I didn't know there was a teammate... An enemy opponent there, I mean. So I guess maybe they might have had a launching pad or they were just waiting or something. Only explanation I can think of. But that can usually, you know, throw off the dynamics pretty heavily. So one of the enemies is trying to get into our base. Eh. Oh gosh, gotta get out of here! <laughs> yeah, almost got uh, splattered right there. Ooh, out of the air on that one. So hopefully we can, uh... Oh gosh! Gotta get out of here. Oh no! <laughs> I, I could have used my, uh, um, bomb rush. That would have been nice, but we're still doing pretty well considering. I'm gonna jump into my teammate over here. Oh gosh. But we still came out on top! That's awesome! Yeah, my teammates were really good at holding the center, so... That was very fortunate. So it's 52.1 to 41.9. And, uh, still third from the top. Got splatted a bit more than we did actually splat. But, you know, we're still trying to land the weapon and get back in the groove, I guess, with the splatter scope. Well, now that we've uh, gone through turf, let's go to the rank battle matches. Alright, and we're back at Bluefin Depot. We're, we're in splat zones this time. Okay, I gotta check the map to make sure I know where the actual zone is. It's on the left-hand side for us. So that's where I'm gonna be heading. Jump up, throw this, go over this way. I'm gonna perch out over here for a little bit. Got that guy. Ooh, some of those guys are running real fast. A better side for me to be at would have been. Alright. Ooh, no. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> yeah, I ran out of ink. Usually when I, or at least in my, um, previous account, I would have, uh, a lot of, uh, ink ups and ink recoveries, uh, on, when I'm, and whenever I used the splatter scope. That was so that it would, um, you know, help those situations where I just kind of run out. Okay, I got that one. Oh gosh, I didn't expect the guy to be on the left-hand side. I was kind of thinking my teammates would kind of cover for that. But we have a teammate that is way over here for some reason, not too sure. But I'm gonna jump over to find out. Maybe I can uh, do some sneak attacks on the enemies from this side. Oh, gosh. I should have moved out of there a little bit faster. But well, that's okay. Alright. Let's move in over here. Oh, gosh. Keep running out of ink. That's why I really need uh, ink recovery. That would be really helpful on this. For this particular weapon, at least. Ooh. Oh 
Oh gosh. I need to really get used to aiming with this weapon again. Oh no! Turned a bit fast and he had a pretty good range with the Splatter Shot Pro. So we're uh, slightly ahead right now. Hopefully we can keep that up. But uh, they're... I, are they in control yet? No, they're not yet. But it's getting to that point. Got that guy. Oh no. I think they're going to be trying to make their way up. Possibly. Gotcha. Oh no. From behind? Oh gosh. Didn't realize there was a guy still there. My teammates are... aren't quite there either. But one of them at least has infiltrated into the zone and that's what's really important. You have to kind of keep your head in the game when it comes to... Oh gosh. Making sure that you uh, fight for the objective and not necessarily against the opponents. Gosh! Oh, my teammate kind of got in the way. Ooh, got that guy. Got that guy too. Ooh, can I get this guy? Yes, I can. <laughs> so that's three for three. Alright, and we are back in control. So hopefully we can keep it this time. Oh gosh! From behind! Ah, I actually was thinking my teammates would be uh, back behind me. But uh, I didn't realize that the enemy might have uh, infiltrated from behind. So, timing-wise they're doing pretty good. Just need to keep it up. Alright. Always need to make sure to support your teammates. Oh gosh! I got, <laughs> got hit by a disruptor, which slowed down my swim speed. I already don't have very many, uh... What are, what's, what's, what are they called? Attribute equ attributes equipped? Ah, uh, well, I don't know the wording right off the top of my head, but... Oh gosh, not again! <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were saved by the timer. So yeah, it looks like we were able to win that one. That's awesome. Ninety-nine to fifty-seven. Let's see how we fared in the ranking. All right, we're at the top of the team with nine splats, which is pretty good. But we also got splatted eight times. But you know, trying to get back into the groove of things. So let's see if we can't do better in the next round. All right, and here we are in the last match for the evening at Hammerhead Bridge. This is a very strange bridge considering how much stuff is on it. And it has a pretty big zone, so we're gonna have to be... very particular about how we approach this. This is actually one of the newer maps, um, I guess in comparison to some of the other ones. I guess usually... How do I like approaching this? I don't even really remember. But one easy thing to do is to go down here and just uh, camp out so that, you know, as a sniper I have a pretty good uh, long range. And I can also go up here. Gotcha! Oh! <laughs> she got me, Caitlyn. Well, let's see uh, if we can get back in there fast enough. One of my teammates has left down beacons, so that should help with getting back into the thick of things quickly enough. I'm gonna try and get up here real quick to have a better view. Alright, I'm gonna throw that over there. The important thing is to control the zone. So as long as we're doing that... Gotcha! Wow, it took a long time for that to register. Oh gosh! Oh no! <laughs> and we did it! That was actually pretty fast! Not sure, maybe they were down a teammate. Which would not be so cool, but we'll see in the results. It's a knockout, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> One of them is called uh, Son Goku. Uh, off of uh, Dragon Ball. So yeah, it looks like everyone was playing and uh, we did pretty good. And yeah, that does it for today's episode of Splatty Tune. Ooh, even got a, an ability unlocked. See, that's what they're called. Abilities. Why, why did that not uh, cross my mind? But anyways, that does it for today's episode of Splatty Tune. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this episode, feel free to hit that like button. And if you really liked this episode and haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That's all for now. You guys take care. I hope you all have a good one and I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Happy birthday Splatoon and thanks for an awesome year of gaming goodness. Now I'm gonna blow out this candle and have me some cake. Ah, <sighs> 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 oh, nuts. <sighs>